as John kicks off and Fulton 12 also deep. There is Baker at the 12 yard line for Tennessee as the Iron Bowl is underway and Happy New Year to you. As Bill Baker comes across the 30 yard line, across the 40 and is dumped as he hits to the 45 and spills out to the 47 yard line. Wide to the left is DeLong. Long count by Dewey Ward on second down five. He throws across the way and has his man stepping out of bounds across the way by Harper is Richmond Flowers, number 22, who was not expected to play much tonight because of a virus. Kyle? Strategy. Third down one. Warren calling signals, keeping the ball himself and trying for the first down. And we'll have to wait and see. Rick Goodwin, 52. Gary Harper, 45. Don Primer, 43, your linebacker. Weaver has not come in to do the punting. Oklahoma comes up quickly, and they're going to go for it, and they have got it by 20. Charlie pulled him down to the 34-yard line. The Oklahoma defense was getting set to receive the punt, but there was no kick. Arnsville, first down at the 35. Warren holding on to the ball. Running, he doesn't do that often, but gets down to the 29-yard line. Dewey Warren, who prefers to pass rather than run, right. On second down four, Dewey Warren loses the football. Battle for it. Oklahoma has recovered at the 32-yard line. Jim Files, the defensive right end from Fort Smith, Arkansas, number 84. <laughs> This is Warmack holding on to the ball across the line of scrimmage, across the 40, across the 45, and knocked out of bounds as he hits to the 48 and a half yard line. Running him out of bounds was number 26, the All American Albert Dorsey. But it's first down, Oklahoma. Hinton, the slot back, and Warmack hands off to his tailback, Chops again, and Chops gets down to the 46 yard line. A pickup of about five yards, it'll be second down five, 11 to be. Gillingsworth wide to the right. Warmack keeping the ball, and a couple of yards he gets inside the 45, down to the 43. Jim McDonald, the defensive right end from Knoxville, Tennessee, number 81, made the touch. Warmack, and that shots again. Flag goes down as shots as the first down, but there's a flag down at the play at the 43. Warmack faking the handoff. Now throwing, has his man, Eddie Hinton, down to the 20-yard line, and out of bounds he goes. Another first down for Oklahoma. Back is doing extremely good handing. There you see number 33, Eddie Hinton, going out. He was playing the slot man there. The linebacker had to come up to try to respect the run. Come shots, only one setback, and that's the fullback. Here's Warmack looking and throwing, has his man hitting inside the 10-yard line. First down, Oklahoma. Mike Jones made the tackle. Seven. Warmack faking the handoff. Coming to the right. Has running room. Hits for the end zone. Touchdown. Action will continue here at the Iron Bowl. The score, Oklahoma seven, Tennessee nothing. One of the up men as the kicker Herman Weaver comes in. Weaver gets a very short kickoff. Fair catch called for by number 31, Bobby Stevenson, the senior from Claremont, California, at the 44-yard line of Oklahoma. Warmack sprinting to his right. Blocker in front of him, aims and has him all by himself, and he steps out of bounds on the 37-yard line of Tennessee. First down, Oklahoma. Taking a different stance out there to the left. Warmack dropping straight back again. Now throwing a swing pass to Steve Owens. Owens is in a crowd and does not have the first down. Inside the 35, down to the 34. And to his tailback, Chadwick, who almost lost the ball, but gets the first down out to the 39. Bruce Stenfrood made the tackle. Chadwick, who has had trouble fumbling this year, is able to the right. Third and six. Big play for both teams. Warmack with time, fires the ball. And has the man across the way, and he has got the first down. Out across the 25 to the 27-yard line. And then set him the clock. On first down from the 27, again, it is the tailback. Ron shot. And Ken Mendenhall. Second down and six. Warmack keeps the ball, cuts inside, has the first down. Steps around two men across the 40-yard line. Jones is after him, ducks under Jones, and he's finally dragged down by Albert Dorsey. First down at the 32-yard line of Tennessee. With
Second and seven. Ball is handed to Ron Schott. Schott is down to the 21-yard line. The boy is dragged down there by the left side linebacker, Jack Reynolds. Yep. Womack fakes the handoff. Back. Throws it long. Indians up for Hinton. Touchdown! And here we see him in the slot position, coming off behind Killingsworth, back into the corner. Number 32, Jimmy Glover, trying to defend on the play. Eddie Hampton, a 9-7 sprinter. The John kick is no good off to the side. Action will continue here at the Orange Bowl. The score, Oklahoma 13 and Tennessee nothing. And that is Fulton, and he is going to bring it out across the 10. Great speed across the 20. He's already made it. Breaks loose at the 30. Down the sidelines he goes. Cuts inside and down to the 39-yard line of Oklahoma with Cagle. Dean Cagle and Don Primer making the stop. And now Oklahoma. Fulton keeping the ball again. He prefers to run with the ball and is down near the 30-yard line at about a yard and a half shy of a first down. Seven for touchdown. Dalton to the left, Fulton hands off to Chadwick, who has the first down down to the 26-yard line of Oklahoma. Walter Chadwick diving over Grand Oligan for the first down. 13 to nothing is the score, Oklahoma over Tennessee. We're in the second quarter, 12 minutes and 40 seconds left. 26 of Oklahoma. Warren, a fine passer, in trouble, right down at the 34-yard line. And look who's getting up. Number 78, John Kitsworth, and number 66, Granville Ligon, the senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. One yard, field goal attempt. He's got a lot of foot, but not enough for this kick. As the ball goes into the end zone, it will roll dead there, and Oklahoma will take over first and 10 on its own 20. So action will continue here at the Orange Bowl. The score, Oklahoma 13 and Tennessee, nothing. Number 22. That is Fulton, still at quarterback. And that is Chadwick with the ball across the 40 and out to the 49-yard line. Down, Tennessee trying to get on the scoreboard. Fulton remains in, has the ball. Throws. And this will be intercepted by number 17, Bruce Sendrew. Sendrew knocked down at the 26-yard line by Gary Chris, the split end. Gillingsworth to the left and Hinton slot left. And here goes Shots again, and Shots is out to the 40-yard line, maybe the 41. Oklahoma has eight first downs, Tennessee six. But the score reads 13-0, Oklahoma. Oklahoma making as few as any substitutions. Warmack on a jump pass. The ball is in the air, belongs to anybody. But it is no good. It was intended for Eddie Hinton. And it looked like it was knocked in the air by Jack Reynolds, who, like Steve Carroll, and they're both sophomores, played a tremendous game thus far tonight. First down, as you can see, for interference on the play. A pass from Warback to him. And that's where we stand. Zabel to the left, going first to the right. Warmack still has the ball, has his man Hinton. Gets past Jones, dragged down by Albert Dorsey, but not until he's got the first down inside the 35, down to the 33-yard line of Tennessee. Oklahoma number three. Warmack on a quick count, holds on to the ball, faces the pitch back, Jack Reynolds makes the stop. After he gets inside the 30, another long game. Warmack still has the ball, going for his fullback, and he holds on to it. That is Mike Harper, a sophomore from Jen Jenks, Oklahoma, and there's quite a story there. Harper came up as a sophomore, his Statue of Liberty. Warmack keeping the ball inside the 10, down to the 8-yard line. He's got another first down. And Bob Warmack, they call him the worm, is having a great night. And I'm sorry for the pun, Kyle, but i got to say the worm has turned. <laughs> Gillingsworth out to the left. From the 8-yard line, Harris Owens is down near the 5 and is gang tackled by Tennessee there. Down and goal to go. There goes Owens, and he's down near the goal line. And if he is shy, which they say he is, this point. They give it to Owen. Touchdown. The 
in motion. That is Owens and his Kyle Cody. That usually means a pass, and that's exactly what they're going to do. But all the time in the world, and now he's run out of time. Warmack on the move and does not get it. Just knocked down across the way. Nick Showalter, number 88, over there to knock him down. Linebacker stepping in. Pass over the middle and caught. And Richmond Flowers had his knee hit the ground, and that's why he simply stopped as he did. Agree. Chris to the left, Flowers to the right. Dewey Warren dropping back. Lots of time. Sending it long downfield, and it is intercepted by Steve Barrett. There's the junior from Artesia, New Mexico, that we told you was hurt. It was intended for Kenny DeLong, as Barrett was... I think I said Owens carried last time and was shot, but this is Bobby Warmack with shots out in front of him to block, and down goes Warmack as he gets out to the 15-yard line. With his arms around him, again, is Jack Reynolds, along with Jimmy Weatherford. And very quickly, onto the field in the end zone comes the Oklahoma marching band, the pride of Oklahoma, under the direction of Dr. Gene A. Brock. Wormack still has the ball, being rushed, and down he goes inside the 15-yard line. Breaking in quickly with Jim McDonald, a junior, right end from Knoxville, Tennessee. In the nation, Baker in single safety. Gets the rush, but gets the ball away. A driving kick that Baker will take at the 46. Across the 50. And down to the 40-yard line of Oklahoma and Tennessee, trailing 19 to nothing, has good field position. In motion comes Charlie Fulton. Warren dropping straight back. Warren with time, aims and has Chris. Chris gets down to the 25-yard line before he's tackled down there by Don Trimmer and Rick Goodwin. That's enough for the first down for Tennessee. Warren. Little swing pass to Charlie Fulton. Gets past one man, and down he goes inside the 15 to the 12-yard line. Knocked down by Gary Harper, and had not Harper, the monster man, knocked him down, Fulton would have scored. Has just come in, number 82. Warren back. Warren in a crowd, and down he goes with Dick Peso, the left tackle making the stop back at the 16-yard line. They'll mark it at the 14. Most of the volunteers have been all night. Warren with a big rush and throws to Chadwick, who can't hold on to it at the 14-yard line, and Oklahoma takes over. Tailback goes straight ahead again. And that's Steve Owens, the sophomore from Miami, Oklahoma. And again, Owens has the ball, and he's got the first down out across the 25-yard line to the 26. Second down and 10. Warmack keeps the ball, now pitches it back to him, and comes around, and he is dragged out of bounds by Vic Tinga. An defensive left end. Owens in motion, that usually means a passing play, and he's going to throw an interception. Down the sideline. Goes Jimmy Clever, touchdown. And Tennessee right back in the ball game. And you know, as we watch it on instant replay, Kyle Roach, you can see him go all the way there from outside the 30, about 37 yards. We'll check. Warmack is the man who missed the tackle. Warmack comes in. Sable now splits to the right, Killingsworth to the left. Warmack still has the ball. Fires it in, it again by Tennessee. And down goes number 30, Jimmy Weatherford. Dewey Warren. Answers tailback, and down he goes. Granville Liggins made the big play on Charlie Fulton. Liggins, number 66, one of the All-Americans on the Oklahoma team. Second down. Tennessee trying to get its offense going. Warren has his man across the middle. Down to the 20, he goes. That is number 82, Kenny DeLong. Fulton and Pickens, the setback. Warren carries the ball. Pitches to Fulton. Fulton with a block. The set. We see that play again. You'll watch Pickens, number 34, the fullback. After Fulton gets the pitch out. And Fulton, 10 for a touchdown for Tennessee. Action will continue here at the Iron Bowl. The score, Oklahoma 19, Tennessee 14. 
Chadwick in motion. Warren hands to his wing back. Richmond Flowers has got all the speed in the world, and he's got the first down as he tracks down across the 35. With him. Over the middle to DeLong. DeLong is out past midfield and into Oklahoma territory. Another first down, Tennessee. Gary Chris to the right. Charlie Fulton in motion. Flowers to the left. Looking, and they have Chris. Chris gets away from one man and another. And inside the 30, he goes to the 28-yard line of Oklahoma. Gary Chris, number 91. The sophomore from Oliver Springs, Tennessee. And has his instructions and has a first down. Hands to his fullback. Pickens, Pickens inside the 25. Inside the 20. Down to the 11-yard line goes Randall Pickens. With Bobby Stevenson, number 31, making the stop. Warren, looking, firing, knocked down, incomplete. It's good. That would make the score 19 to 17. The kick is good. From 26 yards out, and Tennessee draws within two. Action will continue here at the Iron Bowl. The score, Oklahoma 19, Tennessee 17, and men on it. Flowers wide right. Warren is going to throw from deep in his own territory. From his five. And look out. It's going to be intercepted by Stevenson. Stevenson down the sideline. Touchdown. Oklahoma uses the interception to move out in front. And Jim, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he has now intercepted three passes and returned three for a touchdown. Yep. On defense for Oklahoma. Chadwick has the ball and gets out across the 30 to the 31-yard line. Oklahoma band play. Warren with the ball on his hip, setting up and throwing long to Richmond Flowers, who has it at the 48. Down to the 46-yard line goes Richmond Flowers with Bobby Stevenson making the tackle. Tennessee Kyle comes right back. And Dewey Warren with some beautiful faking in that backfield. First down from the 46. Charlie Fulton with the ball back to the line of scrimmage. A nice bit of movement by Charlie Fulton to get down to the 42. Stretch as they came in, rushing the passer on the play. Fourth down and three. Charlie Fulton has come in with a play. Tennessee needs points. Fulton in motion. Warren will throw. Getting a rush over the center. Has the first down to DeLong. Inside the 30 down to the 27-yard line. Kenny DeLong and Gene Cagle. A safety man, and Don Trimmer, the senior right side linebacker, made the stop. Pickens, the fullback, inside the 25 and down to the 22. That is Goodwin getting up after the stop. Long yardage, it'll be second down and four. In any event, it is second down and five. Warren looking to run with the ball, does. Keeping his balance, the first down, down to the 12-yard line goes Dewey Warren. And Hurt is Granville Liggins up on the 22. Liggins, the All-American, holding on to his knee. Now remember, not only is he an All-American, but Oklahoma has never lost a regular for any game this year. It certainly looks like it. And Oklahoma has lost its defensive lineman of the year, and what a game he has played this evening. Tennessee trying to come back. Warren pitching back. As his man Chadwick, who gets down to the six-yard line. A pickup of six. It'll be second down and four. The seven, five to go for the first down. Dewey Warren pitching back again. This is Fulton. Fulton gets inside the five and down near the first down. Open yard line for offside charge against the Volunteers. And Kyle will point out one more time, as you did earlier. He can run and throw. He's running out, looking to sprint. Passes to Chadwick. Chadwick inside the five and down near the three. He'll be shy of the first down, but not by much, and it'll be third down. And a tremendous block put on by Richard Pickens, number 34, the fullback, leading the play. For those of you around the country who I am sure are interested in the injury to Granville against a dislocated knee, the initial prognosis. Now with third down. This is the replay, and you'll see the block by Pickens, number 34, right to the left of you. Fulton going, now cutting back, trying to get down. Either for the first down or the touchdown. He is close to both. Let's see where they mark it. That's quarterback. One hand to Chadwick. 
Chadwick, I am sure, at least has the first down. First down and goal to go. One of the Oklahoma players, Jim Files, raced off the field for the moment as you watch it on instant replay, thinking they'd held him. And that's what did it, that dive. Up and over. Now fourth down. Or rather, first down and goal to go after the fourth down. Warren goes, touchdown! point out there's no percentage in going for the two point extra point now they trail by three there's the score the Sooners of Oklahoma 26 the Volunteers 24 and I'm sure that Tennessee folks know that as you look at the injured Randall Liggins that a field goal can win it for Tennessee and of course Oklahoma will try to run out that clock much time remaining 356 Oklahoma has never been behind and would not want to fall behind now. And look at Steve Owen. First down out across the 30 to the 33. Stable to the left. Again, it is Owens, and this time it gets across the 35 and to the 36. Sets it for 26 yards to make it 26 17, and Warren has just scored for Tennessee as Owens carries the ball again. And here we are, all 77,943 of us with two minutes and 40 seconds to go, and it's 26-24 to the both of you. Owens goes again, out near the first down. They'll have to measure. Half a foot. Right. <laughs> You're close. Bad if we're in the wrong vantage point. <laughs> but it is still short. Hinton in motion. Owens with the ball, and I don't know whether or not he got it. Chuck Fairbanks took a whale of a gamble, and they're going to measure. Yes. And now he must perspire out the remaining moment. Dewey Warren carries inside the 40. Warren hands to Fulton, and down he goes with Kutchmer. Kutchmer, the senior from Oklahoma, replacing the injured Granville Liggins, number 55, made the tackle. Not calling time. 55 seconds to go. In motion comes Chadwick. Warren with the ball, setting up, lots of time. Now throws it short and incomplete at the 34-yard line. The Richmond Flowers, that stops the clock, 45 seconds to go. In motion comes Fulton, 45 seconds left. Fourth down six, over the middle, and the man for the first down. To the left, Warren hands to Pickens. Now they're calling time from right in front of the goal post from the 26-yard line. Again, can lightning strike twice? The kick is up. The kick is off to the side. No good. Oklahoma goes wild as Tennessee walks dejectedly from the field. Seven seconds going. And for a moment, the big gamble of Chuck Fairbanks, by a road, almost backfired. And now it's just a matter of running the clock out as far as Oklahoma is concerned. And as you have said, Jim, what a ball game. 